We're live in LA, day two, and uh, I can't believe it. Superstar guests, and uh, it continues. And I'm so excited to have a gold medalist face to face. I never thought when I started in radio and television, I'd get to Jenna Batarmo. Thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, my friend. I just, I'm just honored, and it's amazing. And since we started talking when we first did the first interview. Things have just been picking up for you like crazy. I mean, and and what I wanted to talk to you about today was specifically some of the experiences you're having with the media mm-hmm. after, because at first after the LA, after I mean after London, things you took a little break, and then it seems like you just picked everything up. Yes, right? definitely. Um, I'm fairly new when it comes to media, so this from January I just was thrown out there and. It's a learning process. I can definitely say that. But I love being in front of the camera, and I love talking to people. And, and that's why you're here. And then you came from. But what would? Uh, let's talk first about the e- ESPN experience. Was mm-hmm. that a magazine, or was that was that a TV interview? Um, I've had both a TV interview, interview, and a magazine. Let's talk about the the TV interview first. Of all. Uh-huh. Was that nerve wracking at first to be interviewed by such a big situation and saying, "I'm going to go talk about this"? Who who interviewed you with ESPN? Oh, I forgot his name. But he was a really, really nice guy. Um, And it was definitely nerve-wracking. I've never... I don't think I've ever been in a situation like that where I can just sit in front of ESPN and just tell the world about Jenna Buzz. So it was definitely nerve-wracking, and I wanted to be politically correct and as proper as possible. (laughs) So it was a learning experience. I can definitely say that. And where did that air on ESPN? What what, what show did they do that? For the news? Sports Center, Sports Center, And this is how long after the gold medal was that? Mm, I think no, it was it was before the gold medal. It was before the gold medal. Yeah, it was oh, before I, the gold oh, medal. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so you were excited, saying it was my opportunity, things like that. And then you're like, wow. And then also you you did get an interview by ESPN the magazine. Yeah. How long ago was that? That was. January. January. Maybe okay, January, January, yeah. ESPNW Women's. And they just wanted to know a little bit more about Genova. <laughs> and so tell us specifically some of the things you were talking about in that interview. Oh, they asked me questions about how I started running track, my childhood, about being um, from my parents being from West Africa and me growing up in a West African home in San Jose, California, and just how track is, what I've been doing lately, how I was able to overcome the runoff situation, how am I um, personally, am I a friendly person, what do I think of myself, just ask me so much So it seems like you were more trained then for the ESPN magazine than you were before, when you went on ESPN before the Olympics. Yeah. It seems like you have the right people coaching you in a way. Oh, yes, I was definitely more trained. <laughs> So, do they come to perspective questions, or do they kind of ask you in the interview, like a personal, when the magazine came, did they just come to your, did you meet somewhere, or did they do a phoner with you to get all that information? Or? It was a phone interview, yes. And did they give you perspective questions beforehand, where they were set up, or was it more about, they came up with them? They gave me some perspective questions, um, but obviously they're not always going to tell you exactly what they ask you, including depending with, on how you what's answer. What's going to happen in the magazine, right? Yes. So, depending on how you answer, they normally change the question up and whatnot. But it was pretty straightforward what they told me that they were going to ask. And I answered those questions. And it was really fun. I loved it. And once the magazine got out, how many people, how many copies did you try to get to your friends or different people? <laughs> I can't believe I'm in a magazine now. Well, since it's a new day and age, I just try to um, post it on Twitter and okay. Facebook. <laughs> Didn't your family want to have a copy, or did you get a copy of it for yourself? I didn't actually get a copy. I just, well, because it's on the internet, so I just printed it out. And oh, really? Yes. So that, but was it in a physical magazine as well, or was it, was it for the internet, the ESPN? Article? It was on the internet, yeah. Oh, they don't even have a magazine anymore, ESPN? Um, ESPNW, I think they do, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Did it, so it didn't ask in the print. Oh, but you did print it out. I definitely I printed it. it out. I didn't try and, to get the whole magazine. How, how did it happen? Did any of your fans get to read it or people that saw it? And what did they think of it when they told you about hearing about your story more? People that read it, they just said, oh, we just love your personality. You are a sweet person. And they just started to know me a little bit more. And how about your friends when they got to see it? They oh, were they were just like, whatever. We already know Jenna, really? but we but know no, that but, she's but, but, a sweet were person. Were they impressed by it or saying, oh, my gosh, I can't believe ESPN interviewed you or not? Well, yeah, they were definitely impressed. They were just like, wow, she is doing some big things now, and she's too good for us. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, they were really impressed, and they were really proud of me. And so in that perspective, did they ask you about 2016? 
at all on the ESPN women's? Oh, always. They always ask me about 2016. <laughs> what do you think your chances are? Oh, out? I think my chances are great. I think I it's going to be so. a great year. <laughs> I hope so. And that's a shout out to GJ to make sure he gets me to Rio to cover it. <laughs> and it was very interesting. So basically the magazine, what did it, I guess it taught you specifically that this is more who I am. I want people to know, especially with the challenges that you went through mm -hmm. and getting a gold medal. Yes. Because it's a different story. So you hope you get three to four gold medals in 2016 so you can say to yourself, okay, now that's past. Yeah. I can, I can think about other things. Now. It's definitely a challenge, and I just really want people to know me outside of track and field. I'm more than just an athlete. I'm a person. So I think it was a good way for people to get to know me personally. And I think that's so important. And it's so much easier to interview in person because I just can – it's just – you're such a bubbly person, very, very nice, humble. Thank you so willing much. Willing <laughs> to, to really – answer questions well and, and you're happy to be here yes. yeah because there's some people who are like oh I'm doing an interview and all this but you're not like that oh. so that's fantastic so any other big interviews you would say ESPN the magazine did you do any other interesting ones with ESPNW what other ones would you say I've done one with Yahoo Sports mm -hmm. I think yeah it was Yahoo Sports and then there's Boss Magazine as well so I've done two other big ones I so think so with Yahoo was there any difference from ESPN questions to Yahoo it was no different at all it was pretty much just trying to show um, get a different, um, what's the word? Perspective of you? In Not a a different crowd. Different crowd. Different crowd. <laughs> so what did, you, what, what did your publicist say or people say about the difference between ESPN? W and Yahoo. Well, they just wanted me to not just be in the sports world because ESPN is just sports. When, sports yeah, yeah, when they hear ESPN, they're like, okay, right. sports. Yahoo, they think of the search engine. They think of so many other things. Right. So right, right. they just wanted me to get out of just the sports world and into a bigger world. A bigger world. A bigger world. <laughs> a bigger world. And which one was the most impressive, Yahoo or ESPN? Or I what? have not read the Yahoo one yet. So when did that come out? It's supposed to come out this month. Oh, you heard it so, first. Yahoo. It's supposed so, so. to, but we'll see.